What's good guys, welcome to another video. My name is Lipolo Perella and if you ask me what I do, well, I make websites. So on today's video, I actually want to talk to you about the beauty of dynamic content. You see, being able to create a, a CMS collection and, or reuse it for multiple purposes is really awesome. So an example of this is, let's say you have a blog post with images or something like that. I know you want to reuse this or repurpose this to have a gallery. So this gallery where we built it with Lightbox or anything else should be able to populate its content from the CMS collection that we created. And a few weeks back, this was something that we actually had to do. So the way we thought about it is our client had a blog post with really, really high quality photos. And what she wanted to do is that whenever she posts a new blog post, all these images that she posted there should directly be populated in the gallery using a light box. So when people open it, they can scroll next and see the list of all the photos that she had. So now this was done with Webflow and today I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's go. Okay, so now that we are in my computer, the first thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and we just want to look over um, on our blog post CMS collection to make sure that we have the images added. So in this case, I have image one and image two as the images that I want to work with. And if you go to any of the other blog posts I have here, you will see the exact same thing, um, just different images, but the same fields. So now we want to head over to create a new page and we're just gonna call it dynamic gallery just for the purpose of this tutorial. And now we are going to go over to our add elements and we're gonna grab a section and we're just going to drop it right here. We're gonna entitle that section. And inside that section, what we want to do is we want to have a container And inside that container, what we want to do now is we want to have a wrapper that is going to hold the gallery together. So we're going to call it gallery wrapper as I have it already here. And then what we're going to do now is that we're going to go here to all of our elements and we're going to choose a collection list. And we're just going to drop this right here. And we're going to tell this collection list that we want it to pull the data from the blog post. So here, if you're not familiar with things like Flexbox or um, Grids or anything like that, one of the things that you can do is you can choose to have three columns, four columns or more. But um, just for the purposes of this tutorial, let's not do that right now. Instead, we're going to go here and then we're going to click on our collection list. And we're just going to create this as a Flexbox. And now you can see they appear side by side. So what we want to do next is that we want to take um, the photos that we have on our blog post and show the, or the, display them here, one next to the other. So in some blog posts, we're going to have um, two photos. And then what I did is I have two main photos, image one and image two. But I also want the main image from the blog post or the feature image to also be displayed in this gallery. So. So what I'm going to do now, and I know that you might be thinking, okay, so we just need to um, drop a light box element here, but what we actually want to drop in is an embedded um, HTML. And we're gonna go ahead and drop that there. And then over on my website, I will have this code. You can just go ahead, copy it and paste it right here. And um, whatever it is your element goes here, I just want you to delete that. And I want you to add the field that you actually want to showcase here. So in this case will be image one and same thing goes here. And same thing goes here. So now we have our, um, so now we have a code that pretty much tells Webflow that you want to be able to pull the content that is related to image one. And because you already told it that we want to pull this content from the blog post, it's going to know exactly where to go and get it or find it. The next thing that we want to keep in mind is this right here. I have it as gallery one. I want it to be able to group the image one and image two, as well as the main image into one gallery so that Webflow or the browser or the code that we are writing knows that when you open the Lightbox gallery, you will be able to browse from one image to the next. So we go ahead and we click save. And now you can see we have um, the same thing should repeat itself. 
but what we want to do is that we want now to create one for image 2 so we go ahead and we do that by copying and pasting and then here we're going to choose image 2 image 2 and image 2 um, for the purpose of this tutorial I want to have three columns so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and, and paste it and I'm just going to choose main image as one of my images and we're going to click save then we click publish so we can see what it looks like because this is code it's going to show like this so when we go here you will be able to see your images here so right now we have image 1 of blog post 1 showing here image 2 of blog post 1 showing here and image 3 or main image showing here so what we want to do now is we want them to be side by side so it goes from image 1 image 2 a made image of blog post 1 so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see that we want this to be a horizontal flex box right so now you have one two and three but as you can see we also have another um i guess the, as the connection the collection list keeps going this way so what we want to do is we want to head here to collection list and we're going to see if we want this to be vertical now that you have it in vertical you are able to see how it moved right so this is image two and this is main image but now it's looking a little bit weird so um, because if we save this everything will be all together so if we take a look at it you can see everything is all together and you may want some space in between your images so just for good practices one of the good things that we can do is that we can go ahead and create a div block and this div block we're just going to drop it right here and we're going to call this single image wrapper and all we want to do is take this and just drop it right here and we're going to do another one we're going to give it the same class name and we're going to drop this and then we're just going to do one more and this one we're going to drop it right here and we're going to call it the same way and we're gonna drop this element right here and now what we want to do is we're gonna give this some pattern maybe let's say 15 uh, maybe about 15 here yeah so now we can go ahead and publish and if you take a look at your gallery it's all done properly um, the images have pattern you can also go ahead and just give them you know um, a, you can give each of these a CSS class right so that um, you can give them a specific height so that all the images always line up so as you can see with very little code using Webflow we are able to sort of connect our entire website to work as we want it to we were able to take that all those images from the blog post into a dynamic um, gallery using Lightbox and using just a little bit of code. If you want to see more videos like this and things that we're working on, we're going to be posting them here. Of course, that's whatever we can post. So if you like this video, make sure to hit the bell button and the subscribe button so whenever we post another video, you get a notification and I will see you again in the next video. So, <laughs> so let me just not laugh. So as you can see with very little code, it... No. <sighs> to do all the research like how we did. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the bell button and... and... Why am I so confused? Or, you know, just about... Why am I so confused today? It's interesting. Where am I? button, comment below, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button.